Hi, my name is Mahek. Hi, my name is Neil. And today we're going to be talking to you about our grade 5 exhibition, which is about marine conservation. So the first um, slide is about our central idea and lines of inquiry. We have to make these on our own, which is very hard, and we have to go through a big thinking process. Our central idea is conserving the ocean can change our future marine world. And our lines of inquiry are reasons of marine damage, impacts of marine damage on the world, and conserving the marine world. And all our information will be um, organized under each of the line of inquiry. What is marine conservation? People taking action to save the ocean and seas around the world, making a limit to overfishing, pollution, and other damages. One example is when Jacques Costa and a scuba diver made a TV show to inspire people and to be a role model to others. And that TV show, um, like, help made uh, help help to make a change in other people's perspectives. Our first line of inquiry is reason of marine damage. So our first guiding question was, why do people have to take bad actions to spoil our oceans? Um, so first, it was about some people don't care and they think it's their home and they don't really know the importance of the ocean to the world. And most of the bad things happening in the ocean is caused by human activity. This is when there's sewage, pesticides, fertilizers from farms and chemicals from factories, which are like released into the ocean. And this happens because the farmers and the factory owners, they don't dispose all their waste and all their gas um, in the right way. The other um, act bad action is littering and trash. This is when people like litter in the wrong way near the coast and it just, um, it gets washed up into the ocean and animals eat it and it's bad for them. There's dynamite fishing where um, people fish for money and they um, sell it so they can sell the fish so they can get money. There's oil spills. This is what happens when oil is spilled from ships when there, uh, um, some people of a country are transporting oil to another place. And there's ocean mining where people take the good treasures of the ocean to sell it to get money. Line of inquiry two, impact of marine damage on the world. How is global warming affecting our oceans? Ocean gets too hot, affects the marine species, and fish can give more beauty because of the heat. The sun steals most of the water because of evaporation. And that affects the marine species. More chances of getting disease and the ecosystem getting too heated and destroyed. And loss of coastal protection. So now our next guiding question was about perspective. Do different people's perspectives affect the actions they take? So, um... If it's a bad perspective, then it does affect the ocean in a terrible way. This is because if a person thinks in the wrong way, they do wrong. And this can lead to marine animals dying. But if we want to make a change in their perspectives, then we have to make it um, affected by like, showing them photos, videos, and articles. And um, we'll be sh um, mentioning other things you can do to change their perspectives. Some more impacts are death of sea animals results to mix up the food chain, reproductive system of animals is ruined, fossil fuels change the water temperature, which can lead to animals' death. And the, the temperature can lead to animals' death because when it gets too hot, many species cannot live. And if, let's say for the reproductive system, if um, animals are eaten, then the other animals who eat those animals do not get life. So basically the whole food chain is spoiled. Um, line of inquiry three, which is conserving the marine world. This is where we speak about what we can do to change the different people's perspectives. What are the 
the ways we can spread awareness about an environmental issue. So we can approach marine experts to um, educate schools and educate centers and fishermen. Um, students should organize field trips to educate their communities. We should arrange big, effectful pr protests to like encourage and like convince the government to ban things and stuff. And one example is Tanzania has done a ban of plastic bags. So um, this is really good because if you're caught with a plastic bag, then it can be like jail or you have to pay a, pay a fine. Change. How does conserving the ocean change the world? The ocean covers 71% of the world. The ocean can help circulate change of weather because this water slash rain cycle, which includes evaporation and those things is controlled by the ocean as the water evaporates from the ocean. But if we continue to pollute and do other damages, then the greenhouse gases will not stop coming and our world will, die, will be ruined. The ocean can even help us receive oxygen because the ocean actually gives 70% of Earth's oxygen. If we ruin the ocean, we lose most of the oxygen and we can die. So responsibility, this is an addition to our slides on what we can do to change people's perspectives. So um, these are the actions you can do on your own. We, you can um, use slash buy fewer plastic products because if you buy more plastic products, then um, what happens is after you're done using them, you can't really reuse it. So you just throw it away and this affects the ocean. You should organize or be part of beach cleanups because this can help reduce the amount of trash that is lying on the beach. Support some marine organizations because if they um, if they make any change, if you're part of it and you can give your ideas. And one of the marine organizations which me and Neil went to for the interview um, is called the Nature Conservancy, which has made marine parks which are really effective. Um, this, there's one where, there's one in Mombasa for uh, octopuses. Um, this is where octopuses are conserved. What are some challenges we face? Distribution of work. We couldn't figure, figure out how to handle the work between us two in the right way. Sometimes one partner ended up doing more work than the other. But we figured out it out after a while. Finding an action. While in that position, it was hard to figure out what action we should have. We had a lot of great ideas, but we just couldn't settle with one. But we figured that out too. Finding sources. While doing all our research, it was hard to find correct resources to answer our questions. Some of our questions were deep, so there were not really books or websites answering them. But we worked hard for it, and we figured it out. Making a model. So while we were at the kind of end of the exhibition work, we had to make a model. We had loads of ideas, but it was hard to figure out which one to use. We tried our final option, but that was kind of a fail too. And before we knew it, school closed. Over the quarantine, we worked hard and decided to make a diorama. A hat and a frame in a bottle meal. So now we talk about how we overcame our challenges. Distribution of work was a challenge, as we said, until we sat one on one with Mrs. Deepa and our mentor, Ms. Fatima. And they were talking to us on how we can distribute work. An example is like um, to give tasks to each other which are equal. And we, um, some one person works on the computer and work, one person works on paper. So finding our action was a bit hard, but we did, um, we did it. We got some ideas from other groups, and we asked our mentor to help us give us an idea. And Ms. Diva gave us some ideas too. We brainstormed on it, and, and we. Um, came up with this really good idea where, which we're going to talk about more, and it was kind of to inspire people. Um, 
and how we overcame finding sources was kind of um, a really good help with our mentor, Ms. Fatima, because she gave us a really good source called Musella and The Day, and the sources um, were amazing, and we even found one um, a source that was our own, and it was from Epic, and we were trying to um, make a model, as we said, it didn't turn out so good. So when school closed, we sent each other a lot of emails, we went on Zoom meetings, we had like this planner that we planned with Ms. Fatima and Ms. Deepa, and um, then we came up with a great idea. So um, I was doing a diorama and Neil was doing this really unique idea of a aquarium in a bottle, which pictures you'll see um, in the next two slides. Our action is to inspire people by making a survey, petition for people to sign and make a promise which we are going to talk about. Next, we would make a poster of Charlie about how many people of VIA are decided to their action slash action towards the ocean. And this would really help us to spread awareness to inspire people. And last but not least, Finally, we would give our audience a bookmark so they remember to sign on the petition and poems they had they have had, but we can't because of the coronavirus. That's here are the, some pictures, and this is a link which will be shared with you, and we have already shared it, so don't worry. Um, we've given you a Google Forms to fill out. Um in place of the petition we made and the, this is our model and our bookmark pictures the one you see um on, that says before and after is mine i made a model i made a diorama of um before and after of how the ocean was so if you can see there's people playing nicely and umbrella and everything but on the after there's a lot of trash and you can't really um uh go there and like you can't go and here's our pictures of bookmarks which we made to give out, but we sadly can't give it to you. And here is Neil's model. So my model, explain. my model is clearly a clean ocean that has no pollution, and all sea animals, such as a turtle, is living happily. And there's like a really nice, colorful coral, coral reef in it. So here's our um, audio. Very enthusiastic young, uh, young Tanzanians, the future generation. I believe uh, with this kind of enthusiasm, we might have the better future that we have at the moment. Oceans are very critical for our economic development. They are part of the Sustainable Development Goal 14. Conserving them and protecting them and using them sustainably is actually crucial for our development. Many people here in Tanzania and globally depend on the oceans for economic activities, including fisheries, tourism, shipping, mining, and some people have even gone further to harvest some of these resources for medicinal purposes, including cancer. And so, if we destroy these resources, whether it's mangroves or coral reefs or seagrass, we are actually destroying our own future. So I'm very glad to see our young generation working so hard to find ways by which they can support us in the near future when they take office. Thank you. So that was our um, final statement. So these are our sources. We had a number of sources. Um, I interviewed my mom. We interviewed um, the Again, Lucy Magambe, she was our um, Yale University graduate, and there was a lot of other sources we used. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed.